Hello guys, how are you all? Um, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while, the rain's been a bit sort of temperamental here, so it's been a bit hard to fly. Um, this is a this is my uh, Tundra V2. It's a little bit smaller brother, it's the middle sized brother of the Grand Tundra that you get on Hobby King. And that one has a 1.7 meter wingspan. Uh, so, last video we put it all together. Um, what I've done now, I've actually got everything installed. I'm going to show you exactly what we've done. It's basically ready for its first flight, which um, as soon as we can get some decent clear weather, um, we'll take it out. Once everything dries up, there's a lot of mud um, in the flying field at the moment, so it's a bit difficult to get out there as well. So I'll give you a rundown of how I've done this and what I've done with it. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So basically I didn't, I didn't really want to spend a huge amount of money on this and a lot of time to get it going so I've used a few parts and stuff that I've had lying around and it's, um, it seems to be working really well. So it's, it's, it's just sporting the, the stock prop and stock, stock motor um, in there. I'm, I'm thinking you might get a, a front, um, what do you call it, spinner for this. It'll look a bit better. But anyway, in here what I've done, this is running an L9R receiver which I've mounted. It's basically directly under here. I'm not actually building this for long range or anything like that. It's just going to be a, a park flyer and a, and, a, and a flyer at the field. Um, so yeah, it's running the stock ESC. Uh, that there's a Minim LSD which I'll get into that a bit later. It's got a... Uh, it's got a, a module for measuring its power, battery power, when it's up in the air. So basically what I'd done, I, um, I had a Quantum Nova, which I, I transplanted into a Reptile 500 frame. You would have seen that on a video if you watched it. Well, I've decided I've scrapped that idea now for the moment. I'll do something with the Reptile later on, but the Nova itself, I've used the APM flight controller out of the Nova and put it in this Tundra here, which works fantastic. It's running Mission Planner. I can technically do things like um, automated flights with this plane now. Um, so basically the, the, the Quantum Nova had, um, it was all set up for a telemetry module as well on the back here. It's, it's been fitted, fitted to this so it's got on-screen on display. This is the telemetry module here, the wireless telemetry which runs uh, to my laptop here. So I'll just open the hatch I'll show you here. That's my telemetry module I've got in here. So that's my Quantum Nova flight controller in there, running it in a, what is it, APM 2.5. It's a fairly old model flight controller now, but it'll do the job and it'll get it up in the air. At the moment, I might upgrade it one day to a Pixhawk, but I, th I figure I've got a lot of planes running, uh, running the Matex systems and they're running iNav. So I thought, well, the, the, the Nova's not doing anything. The Reptile 500 was sitting there too, so I thought, well, why not put it in this? I've never tried an APM plane before, so everything fits perfectly it works good I've got everything set up through Mission Planner uh, for stabilized flight uh, a couple of modes set up uh, I've just yet to fly it basically but yeah that's it it's got a so it's got its uh, telemetry module here hooked into into the Nova flight controller which um, has always been hooked in there since I had the the Nova the Nova was a good learning tool for me when I uh, when I first started to get into drones um, and that was its brain there so I've wired in I've wired this telemetry module into the flight controller here don't ask me how I done it I can't remember now um, and I'm not going to get into it I did I did it all through I'm um, doing a lot of searching through forums on the Chearson CX Chearson CX20 and Quantum Nova sites yeah, it, it, it's worked good. I mean, the Nova was a great flying drone, it was, and that used to do some automated flights here and there, and had that, my first drone that was, so this is now, the brain of that's now trans, transplanted into this plane now. And this will be my next bit of a learning tool here to um, use APM and Mission Planner in flying fixed wings. So that's basically it. It's, it's ready for its maiden voyage, or maiden flight. So I just need to get some weather decent weather and soft ground that's not muddy so I can get out there I'll give you a quick rundown and we'll boot it up 
and um, I'll just fire up Mission Planner as well and show you a bit of that. Welcome to Open TX. Flight mode normal. Flight so I've set, I've set everything up I've got on on here now for the Tundra. Um, I've got my flaps. I've got my modes. Manual mode. Return to home activated. Flight mode normal. Position hold activated. Flaps down. And we've got our flaps. Flaps up. Alright, so I'll just open up Mission Planner. The plane's all um, booted up, telemetry modules flashing. Now the only thing I've got to do yet is uh, video, uh, I want to put FPV on it. Um, I've got it set up, I'm working on it at the moment, which I'll show you as well. I'm going to put a pan and tilt system on it as well. And then what you do, I've got my telemetry module up here my receiving telemetry module to show me the data. The good thing with this, I can take my laptop to the field, open up Mission Planner, uh, we fly the plane, and while the plane's up in the air, Mission Planner is going to be telling me anything from battery levels to my speed to my height. Um, I can set up a waypoint mission, everything in here. You can actually um, replace this back screen here with FPV video feed so you've got your telemetry and everything in this screen here but that's something I did do with the Nova I'm not going to bother with that so you can see it's got the battery voltage it's reading 11.11 .11 volts battery you've got ground speed altitude satellite count time in the air time to waypoint if you want that distance to home so you, you can add many different things into this And it's showing that it's not sitting quite level either. So I'll probably have to. So I'll probably will have to. Um, acceleration calibration is probably what's needed with it. Okay, after the accelerometer, after the accelerate, accelerometer calibration, um, it's looking a bit better. It's still showing its nose is up. That's because it's sitting. But when it's in flight, it should be pretty good. Right there. Yep, that's level. So that's pretty good. So I've got everything out here now. We'll um, do a little test with the taxiing. See there, it's got it's picked up 13 satellites. 
just sitting out here. So everything's looking good for its first maiden. Look forward to it. Wait for a decent day where there's no wind, no rain, and it's everything's dry, and we'll get it out there. Until then, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, keep flying, and bye for now.